So here is another Project Star Beam test. Checking out the 2.4 gigahertz signal generation. Okay, so for this test, we're gonna be using a HackRF. That's gonna allow us to use it as a signal analyzer. And it goes up to six gigahertz frequencies, <clears throat> which is what we're gonna to need to analyze 2.4 gigahertz. So I turn it on, got the antenna going. I'm gonna be using SDR++ and my Project Starbeam, which has three NRF 24s and two CC1101s. It's gonna be doing the signal generation. So I'm going to turn on this handy dandy device. I've um, been working on finalizing the firmware and making sure all the circuits are right before I open source it, of course. Don't want to blow anyone's face off. Um, I got some cool UI going. Um, worked really hard to get everything all in there. Um, so here we got a few different options. Um, because Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and drones, um, car keys are all on different uh, frequency bands. But right now, I'm going to be looking at the 2.4 gigahertz frequencies, as you can see here on SDR++, which you could get on Mac or Windows, Linux. Um, so I activate the HackRF. And what's nice about this device is you don't need to be using any serial monitor and you can um, just use the UI. So here you can see the waterfall is blue and pretty clear. It's pretty much just picking up um, basic wireless signals. And now I'm gonna turn on the switch and that activates the NRF24s. And I have the BT jammer selected. Now the radios are active and you can see on the waterfall of the SDR++, the signal generation, especially if I direct it at the antenna and different antennas will have different um, power, but these are using the stock antennas. I'll go into deeper how to amplify things later. And you can see um, how powerful the three NRFs are. And then here I'll turn off the power to the NRFs and now you can see the waterfall is blue and clear and um, just receiving basic Wi-Fi signals. So there's a few different um, options I have configured um, and the code will be expanded a little bit more. So each um, selection um, hits different frequency ranges. So I scroll down to the lower range of 2.4 and then you can see this is where the Wi-Fi networks are um, selected and it disabled my Wi-Fi and I turn the NRFs off again and the waterfall is cleared and then trying the um, drone jammer selection and this um, is more of a broader range because it hops channels one through 125 so you could see um, as I can scroll through uh, you could see the different uh, frequencies it affects so you can see I'm sifting through uh, the ranges and as you go um, to the lower end of 2.4 um, it gets a little stronger And this is pretty nice because you can kind of just um, cycle through different uh, selections um, with the buttons and hop through the menus and kind of just test around different things. Um, so I'm just kind of showing how you kind of just go in and out of different modes and you don't have to use the serial monitor or, you know, um, the device without the screen is a little bit more difficult to control and without the switches. So um, yeah, just trying to make this as easy as possible. Um, to use and uh, working on a case too as well. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed 
the little test.